about to see Sonic the Hedgehog too! Oh, Idris Alba, I can't wait to hear how magical your voice is gonna be. Uh, uh, hey! It's not nice to stare at people! I'm here! Oh, uh, hey, Tails. Were you just yelling at that guy? Uh, no! Uh, uh, well, uh, okay, he was kind of staring at me. Were you saying weird things out loud that should stay in your head? Possibly! Well, come on, Amy. Let's go get our seats. All right. I can't wait. This Sonic movie's gonna be so good. That was amazing. Did you see me, Amy? I did. I was so proud of you. Do you feel like Sonic Movie 2 deserved the hype? Of course. It's the best thing I've seen all year. No, wait. Ever. <laughs> well, you know what, Tails? I have a little feeling I might possibly show up in the third movie. Well, why is that? Well, because a certain hedgehog hey, Amy, showed up. Amy, Amy, Amy. <laughs> what? Guys. Spoiler warning from here on out. If you don't want to know what happens, you might want to click off this video. Okay, it's safe to talk now. As I was saying, since the plot line is going to be Project Shadow, that means we're getting a Sonic Adventure 2 story next. Well, I did notice one of the choppers had SA2 written on it. So I was like, huh, oh, Sonic Adventure 2 reference? Hmm. But in the post credit scene, as soon as they started saying, oh, a project from 50 years ago, I knew where it was going. Rouge and I were a part of the Sonic Adventure 2 story as well. I'd be really happy for you, Amy, if you got to be in the movie. A girl can dream. If I am gonna be in the third movie, I really hope they don't introduce me by having me cuddle Shadow and mistaking him for Sonic. Well, Amy, I told you, try spectacles. I don't need spectacles. But you can tell black from blue or silver, apparently. Like, can we just... It, it was dark when I saw silver, okay? Cut me some slack. <laughs> Whatever you say. Can we talk about how Sonic went super Sonic? It was incredible. That was so cool seeing that on the big screen. It was amazing. You know what? I'm still feeling a little bit bad that I hit Knuckles with a car. He seemed even stronger than he is in real life in that movie, so I wouldn't worry about it. Another one of my favorite parts was when Sonic and I had a dance-off with the Russians. I was a little worried for you guys at first, but as soon as you put on Bruno Mars, you kick their butts. Yeah, and we earned some respect, too. Plus, you know, Uptown Funk's uh, pretty catchy. I'm too hot. Call the police and the firemen. I'm too hot. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty catchy tune. But Tails, the part when you said to Sonic about really being his pal... I started crying! It was just so adorable! Oh, well, uh, come on, I'm getting embarrassed now. <laughs> oh, but you two, you're just like the perfect best friends. Uh, I mean, well, uh... And I just wanted to die from cuteness when you guys were asleep by the fireplace and you put your tails over him! All right, okay, it was okay, so Amy, cute. okay. <laughs> Look, it was a little chilly, okay? Come on. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you. But hey, Knuckles had a little cute moment too, don't forget. When Sonic and Knuckles saved each other from drowning, and they learned to trust one another. And see, you know, both sides aren't so bad. Well, if that mean old Robotnik hadn't tricked him, none of this would have happened. Look, it's Knuckles' origins, okay? He gets tricked by Robotnik and then eventually becomes our friend. Sonic Adventure! Knuckles got tricked all over again and should have known better. Oh, come on. He's a little sheltered from living on that island. All by himself? I suppose. At least his heart's in the right place. <laughs> yeah. We all played a game of baseball at the end, and uh, Knuckles kind of won because I couldn't catch the ball. Because that guy can hit. It wasn't fair. <laughs> I did like that little scene of you guys playing baseball. Just gotta keep a hold of that Master Emerald. Well, since the next movie's gonna be an SA2 plotline, I wouldn't be surprised if the Master Emerald shatters. And then Knuckles and Rouge can have fun finding all of the pieces. Since Robotnik did get his butt kicked, he got a really good taste for the Master Emerald's power. 
So he's probably gonna go after it again. I think if Agent Stone got the emerald, he would make the world's greatest lattes. Don't you think? <laughs> You're not supposed to like him, Amy. He's a bad guy. Oh, come on. The movies are just supposed to be a bit of fun. You really think I could be scared of Jim Carrey? I think he was pretty scary when he was controlling the death egg robot. Or at least I'm pretty sure it was a reference to that. That thing's huge. But you and Knuckles handled it perfectly. Oh, well, thanks. I was actually just the decoy. Knuckles did the hard work. How do you feel about GUM being part of the movie lore now? That just gives me more high hopes that we're gonna see Rouge. If there are more characters, they can sell more merch. Don't judge, okay? Just saying. Every big company does it. Bet they can't wait to sell those shadow plushies next time. Well, I might have already got myself a Tails from Build-A-Bear. They're pretty adorable, just like you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I guess we should probably talk about some of the other human characters we saw, too. Well, Donut Lord and Maddie returned, but unfortunately, they took a bit of a backseat in this movie. It was pretty cute when Sonic called him dad. Anyone would be lucky to have parents as great as those two. For sure. Sonic's got me and Knuckles now, so the family got even bigger. And when I come along, you're gonna have one more. If you're in the third movie, which I hope you are. Me too. I definitely got to show off my gadgets, that's for sure. I hope nobody thought they were too geeky. No way, Tails. They were super cool. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> I gotta say, though, Rachel is absolutely... Terrifying. I would not want to mess with that lady. And when she and Maddie started playing around with my backpack, I was kind of concerned. I don't think they really knew what they were doing. It's a miracle nobody got injured. I was happy to see some girl power in this movie. Sonic needs strong female characters. Well, you know, Rachel, she makes you look like a harmless little bunny. At least now, Amy, we can say there's a scarier Sonic character than you. You think I'm scary, huh? Look, it was a joke. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not scary. You see this hammer, Tails? That's what I'm talking about, Amy. Oh, okay, uh, sorry, uh... <clears throat> Unfortunately, there is one part of the movie that I didn't like. Uh, Eggman? It's not it, no. You didn't like Agent Stone's lattes? Uh, no, I actually thought they were really good. I mean, maybe we should have Agent Stone and Robotnik versus DeviantArt. No, Tails! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I mean, I'll, I'll do it if you guys want me to. Don't encourage him, everyone. There was a loss. Nobody died in the movie. Oh, they did, Amy. They did. Huh? A tornado one went crashing down! It was horrible! Oh, well, uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm sure you'll just build the tornado too for the Sonic Adventure 2 plotline. Hey, uh, you maybe want to go get some ice cream? Uh, ice cream sounds good. We can get sprinkles just like Knuckles was going to in the movie. That's an amazing idea. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like. And in the comment section, let me know what your favorite part of the Sonic movie 2 was. And, uh, that was a pretty cute ride. <laughs> uh, bye, everyone. Bye.